Alright guys, welcome back to Ryan's Pokemon White 2 Adventure Part 25. That's right, we are about to take on the Pokemon League, Elite 4. So up here in the first room, we have... Wow, kinda spooky, huh? Yep, it's none other than... The Ghost Pokemon user, Chantel. Or is it Chantel? Hmm, I don't really know how to pronounce her name, but she's certainly a writer. So many books. Alright, let's go. Alright, so Chantal leads off with a Cofabrigus. Very high in defense, and it's the same one that gets this used earlier. Let's hope my attack takes it out in one hit. Come on. Oh yes! Sweet! Critical hit! But yeah, beware of Cofagrega's ability with his mummy. It changes the attacker's ability to mummy as well. But no worries, we can switch out. And yes, I better switch out. Rosen's no longer levitating. She's a mummy. <laughs> but seriously speaking, Golok is a ground and ghost type, which would, it would probably have earthquake. So sending out Brandon would be good. She'll be immune to earthquake. Shadow Claw it. Super effective, huh? Critical hit. Oh, haha. <laughs> Look at the damage done though. Not bad, eh? Alright, Shadow Claw one more time. Check it out, Brandon. Oh yeah, first impressions are everything, alright? <laughs> Chantal said it. Okay, so let's switch up to Crosby. Burst that balloon with your jaws. Crunch it. Pop it. <laughs> oh yeah, not bad. Oh, but wow, aftermath. <laughs> so Chantal is left with her last Pokemon, Chandelier, a ghost type and fire type Pokemon. So Samuel should do the trick. Let's put out its flames. It's not over yet. Are you sure, my lady? Sorry to dampen your spirits, but. Your fire's out. And yup. This concludes the battle. The first member of the Elite Four, Chantal, is down. I was just that impressive? Why, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so let's move on to the next room. Tap on this portal and it'll take you back to the main hall. And we are about to proceed to the second room. Wow, looks kinda scary. Okay. Oops. I can't escape. Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, so this is Grimsley, the second member of the Elite Four. Dark type user. So let's shine. Don't you guys find the music kind of cool? Wow, he tossed a coin. Like a magician. So he starts off with a Lyper. Hmm. You move fast. I was supposed to use Fake Out. Oh no. I should have used an Axe Defense or something. But no worries, not much damage done. Alright. Whoa, Night Slash. High critical hit ratio. Thunder bolted. Oh man, Thunderbolt wasn't enough to one hit KO it. Alright, I suppose he would use a full restore. Hmm. Really should have used the next special previously. Oh well. Let's try acrobatics. Sweet. 
Sweet. Level up. Oh wow, Kukodao. Alright. I should have used Rosen for this. Let's go, Samuel. Wow, Kukodao struck first. Hmm. No worries. I should be able to handle the hit. Let's serve. So he's gonna use Crafty, a fighting and dark type Pokemon. Brendan should be able to handle it. We shall take this battle to the skies. Let's fly! <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? Alright, so Grimsley is down to his last Pokemon, Bye Shark. A Steel and Dark type Pokemon. This calls for the help from Lucian. A Fighting type attack should be able to take it out easily, because it'll be double super effective. Alright, let's show Grimsley what an ugly win is. Aura Sphere. <laughs> I'm sure he hit it hard. Sorry dude. And this concludes the second battle of the Elite Four. Grimsley is down. Well said, Grimsley. Yes, you should reflect on your loss. But I must admit, that was quite an exciting battle, eh? <laughs> oh wow, only results matter? Hmm, questionable. But hey, thanks man, my light is shining brightly alright. Okay, so we are back at the main hall. Let's proceed to the third room. Ooh, wow, look at all this glittery thing, powder like, fascinating, and hey, what's that, a white rose, oh, wow, what an entrance, hey, and I see a floating cube, interesting, alright, let's not waste time, Caitlyn, yep, the third member of the Elite Four, the Psychic Pokemon user. Wow, interesting hairdo. How does she make those heart like thingy float there? <laughs> Alright, so she leads off with a Mushana. That thing packs a lot of HP, but I'm pretty confident that Roseanne will be able to take it out with one hit, one crunch. What? It didn't? Oh, now you're making me drowsy. Why do you want to put me to sleep, huh? Why? Alright, let's switch out. Go, Crosby. Seriously? Another yawn? Wow, she is certainly a sidekick. She foresaw me switching out, eh? Come on, I mean, yawn would make my Pokemon fall asleep in the second turn, unless I switch out. Anyway... Reniculus is going down with a crunch. <laughs> Alright. See what I told you? John will make my Pokemon sleep only after the second turn. Anyway, I should switch out. Alright. Samuel, take down this Sigilith. Sigilith is a psychic and flying type, so Ice Beam should be able to do the trick. Oh man, again, I didn't manage to take it out with one hit. This would mean she's gonna heal up her Pokemon with a full restore. But it's okay, I should be in pretty safe hands even though it isn't a one hit KO, because my speed is higher. Oh yeah.
Okay, so Gothic Tale is really gothic. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, Gothic Tale is a pure psychic type. Okay, so she's set up with a calm mind. Oh no, this could spell danger because it might kill me in the next round. I mean, Rosen. Yeah. What? A citrus berry? Oh no. What the? Please don't. Whoa. That was pretty lucky. Please knock it out. Please knock it out. Yes! <laughs> Whoa. For a moment I thought I couldn't. Alright. Nice job, Roseanne. So she's down to her last Pokemon. Back to Mushana. Who should we use this time? Crosby. Alright, so Crosby is actually sleeping. But I'm pretty sure you'll wake up in the next few rounds. Besides, Mushana can't do much because Crosby is a dark type. So Mushana's psychic attack would have no effect on it. <laughs> Reflect all you want, Mishana. Crosby is gonna wake up and bite through those barriers. Alright. See what I told you? Yes. And we've defeated the third member of the Elite Four, Caitlyn. Not bad, eh? <laughs> hmm. A lady of few words, eh? Anyway. I just did a quick heal up, and we are now proceeding to the next room, the final room of the Elite Four. Wow, it looks like a wrestling ring. Haha, <laughs> like a cage. No surprise for the fighting Pokemon user, Marshall. Wow, bright lights. Oh, so it is your intention to test me? To take my strength to its limits? Sure thing, man. Bring it on. Wow, he sure looks muscular. Like some bath lord. And yep, he's sent out throw. Quite a big buff dude himself. <laughs> yes, it's Darlene's turn to shine. Fire punch. Oh, sure is a bulky Pokemon. Darlene didn't manage to take it out with one hit. And I just got bulldozed. Hmm. But it's okay, man. You're going down for the next hit. Uh, full restore. No surprise. Flare Blitz. So Conkelder, another big, buff, bulky, fighting type Pokemon. So sending out Crosby is sure a huge risk. Because dark type Pokemons are weak against fighting type attacks. Oh no. Alright, I didn't see that coming. I thought it would at least chip off half of his HP. Oh no, this spells danger. Wow. The bulk up sure did increase his defense. Ouch! That sure hurts, man. No, Crosby! Dude, you'll pay for this, man. Impressive! Even myself didn't manage to take it out. That thing sure packs a lot of HP. Uh, irritating. Okay, so... I think Concordo is his main Pokemon. Now with that out of the way, he's left with two more. So yup, it's Brandon's turn. Flying type moves are sure super effective against fighting type Pokemon. Let's fly again. Oh, high jump kick. Haha, <laughs> and you missed. Too bad, man. Oh, 
Oh, brave bird. Nah, I think I'm pretty good with fly. You don't have to know brave, but you're brave already, bro, Brandon. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Okay, so Marshall is down to his last Pokemon. Sock. Let's go with Roseanne. Is it me or does Marshall look pretty similar to Sock? Haha, <laughs> anyway, let's do some acrobatics. Oh, but wow, he struck first. And the critical hit to go with that too. Not bad, man. Oh man, this sturdy thing is sure irritating. But at least he won't have a full restore now to heal it up. Oh no, please don't. Oh, Whew. saved once again. Nice job, Roseanne. And the fourth member of the Elite Four is defeated. Awesome. So now that we've defeated the members of the Elite Four, we are ready to take on Unova Region's champion. Stay tuned for the epic battle in the upcoming episode of... Ryan's Pokemon White 2 Adventure